What's going on? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Attack Productions. Today I bankrupt you all once again to do another deck profile. Not just any deck profile, but I'm playing SS3 Son Goku Returns, and I've actually never played this deck before, so it was pretty interesting kind of putting this together. Obviously, I feel like there's a a set build to this deck. A lot of people tend to kind of go with, but when I was putting this one together, I saw a lot of other unique ways you could go with this, super aggro if you wanted to, but I do have this standard kind of mid-range style which is very defensive but the reason why i wanted to play this one is because i got my hands on the uh tcg metals uh ss3 sun goku returns leader and this thing is absolutely amazing if you don't got your metal leader check them out like i said tcg metals with a z uh, yeah go get your metal leader these are fantastic and absolutely love them so we're gonna go into the uh the leader itself it, it doesn't draw on the front side and that's kind of the early downside of this card so knowing how to balance that for future plays you do want to play a lot of cards that can draw you cards and possibly the sooner the better but when this card uh attacks you choose one card in your hand you place it at the bottom of your deck when uh this card attacks choose one uh card in your life place it in your energy and rest mode the awaken is when you have four or less life you may draw one card and you flip this card over oh and you cannot have more than six energy once you flip this leader over, from here on out, it can draw. Fantastic. You're still kind of capped on the six energy, but that's fine. Auto, when this card attacks, draw one card. Then uh, this card gets plus 5,000 power uh, for the duration of the turn. Sorry, I for some reason, I was thinking that was a battle when I was playing it, uh, my locals. But it's just a turn. And keep in mind, I mean, it's only getting one swing, so it, it's sure, whatever. <laughs> but at the end of the uh, your turn, you choose three of your mono blue energies and you switch them to active mode. So with that being said, let's get into the rest of the deck. Starting off, a turn one play is always good, it is East Kai, keep in watch. It does slow your opponent down the, um, a little bit, like they want to play battle cards during your turn, they have to bottom deck one of their cards in their hand. But on play, this card draws you a card, and that's kind of the main focus of this card. The card that you want to charge turn one is Bardock Grade 8 um, Assault. And potentially it's a turn two play. It is double strike blocker for, for two blue energy. Um, you can evolve this from your energy. So when using this card evolve skill from your hand, you can choose uh, battle cards in your energy and play the card in active mode. Auto, if your leader card is blue sand, when this card is uh, card in your energy evolves into this card, you draw one. Then in your turn, you switch uh, this card to active mode and you play stop card of your deck in rest mode. So pretty much on turn two, and pretty much your turn two, you'll have three energy, which is great. But you can definitely swing with this card. Um, it's a double strike 20k. Either they're taking it or they're going to combo out from it. And then it gets to recent. Like I said, you're drawing a card for as well. And uh, you have a blocker for your opponent's next turn. And like I said, I mean, like, I want to play cards that draw in this deck early on as well. So it just helps going towards it. And potentially, if you don't see the secondary Bardock, I do have another potentially turn to play. And that is Sun Goku. Which... Actually, meaning if your leader card is blue sand and you have three or more energy, you play this card from your hand and you draw one card, and it's just one blue energy to do that. It has deflect, so it's coming in. You're getting that draw. Like this, is just you want to get those draws. I know I've said that plenty of times, but having leader does not draw and makes you have to actually lose a card to use its effect on swing. Uh, yeah, it hurts. So as much as you can draw, you have to draw. And if you happen to actually go second on your turn two, you could potentially have four energy. So instead of playing this card, you can also establish the unison Majin Buu, which has a, the uh, plus minus zero, which draws you a card and it restands this and an energy at the beginning of your turn. So if you've awakened at this point, by your opponent's main phase, you're restanding four energy. Three at the end of your turn, one at the, end of your, uh, at the beginning of their main, uh, main phase, if you're correct. Yeah. It does have a minus one auto. If your opponent attacks a battle card, you may choose one of their battle cards, place it on the owner's deck. Knowing when to use that ability is key. It is a blocker, so if you need to protect yourself from a swing, go right ahead. So it's kind of like the early plays and get as much draw as possible plays. Going to the rest of the deck, we got some good blue cards, starting with Sensor Beam. I mean, it just, truth be told, it, you could go down on this number. Um, and definitely see where I can make tweaks on this deck when it comes to ratios. But it's blue. I like running as many uh, since me as possible. It, it helps keep uh, decks that go super wide from hitting your leader unless your opponent wants to get rid of resources. And you can always just go Sensu Bean, go to 20k, 
And if your opponent starts to like, okay, cool, I'll swing, go to 20K, send to being, go to 25. And from that point on, if they have to continue adding pressure, you're not using your negates for that. Um, because it's blue, run counterplay cards, God's only trunks. It's free of unison, but once you establish it, you can't do counterplays for the rest of the turn. So just, you know, timing. It's very important. So for neg negates, because like I said, potentially you're receiving four energy at the beginning of, by, by the beginning of your opponent's turn. We currently run uh, in the deck three Raider Rumbles. I know if you run four, I understand. There's another one in the sideboard. I'll go over that in a bit as well. But Raider Rumble is a fantastic card. It's a blocker. Uh, it's a negate. And if your opponent wants to attack, they have to uh, place one of their energies in the drop area. So it just kind of slows your opponent's turns down so you go into bigger plays. Or I could pay three. My opponent has uh, three or more energy. And play this Goku in rest mode. And during your opponent's turn, uh, you reduce energy cost of this card by one for each card in your opponent's energy. But the other permit is if your leader card is mono blue and this card is in rest mode, your opponent's battle cards can't attack the leader. So they have to go into this card if they want to do damage to my leader. And like I said, this card's always be active. And truth be told, you could remove once it's a bean for one of these Gokus. And I think it would be just fine as well. More good blue cards. Dimension Magic. We do also play three uh, Beerus Destroys. Uh, mainly because it's, it's a draw. And I like drawing cards, like I mentioned earlier. But uh, if you get a card and all your energy is blue, you choose one card um, and it gets plus 10 as a power for the battle, then you choose one of the effects. If it's your turn, you choose one of your opponent's battle cards of energy cost greater than the current energy and you place it at the bottom of the owner's deck. Or if it's your opponent's turn, you draw one, then you choose one of your opponent's battle cards of energy cost of two or less and you place it at the bottom of the owner's deck. Like I mainly just use it for the, uh, the draw effect just because, like I said, I want those draws. Because we're restating energy a lot of times, we could just pay two for Chills Reinforcement Armies. Just a great negate that also plays a blocker. And if your opponent's super, like, just super aggro, you could play a Hatchiac to slow them down. I mean, it's really good blue negate. Going to the super combos, because we do blindly charge cards, play two of the Zenos Edge of Space, and two of the Vegeta's Discipline Warrior. By playing this card, I'm already establishing that I do not play non-blue cards because if you accidentally blindly charge a black card or even a red card if you're trying to play Champa, it turns this card off. And you have to see this card first, just use this card's effect. But if you happen to charge the you know secret rare, something good, I want to hang on to Edge of Space to bring that card back to my hand as well. And in my experience, whenever I try to put in a non-blue card in a card that blindly in a deck that blindly ramps. Even if it's just one card, I will see that by turn two for some reason in my energy. I, I, from that point on, I'm like, I can't do that. More good blue when it comes to this deck because you pay three for a 20k battle card, but it draws you two cards. Then when you pass turn, you immediately are restanding those same three energies. So I think that's perfect. Like It's a draw two, 20k swing for initially nothing because you're restanding that energy. Yes, it costs you three in the moment. But if you got nothing else to play, this is a great thing to play. And I've even thought about reducing one of the Beers of Shroys for a third Android 18, just to have more ways of drawing cards and have a decent uh, attack as well. And for more draws, I only play two of the SS4 Vegeta. Um, it's a blocker, it costs six energy to do. Initial exit, it's a draw four on, on play. But at the end of your turn, you switch this card to active mode. So it is a 6 energy to play a battle card of 30k. It swings, resands itself, but it also draws you 4. So it's really good. Two Murray Champs, because it's just good blue. It has barriers, so if you get to establish it staying on board, it's double strike and potentially could be a dual attack plus 5k if the card on top of your opponent's deck is a battle card. One hit Deadly Vanguard, just another way of potentially bouncing two cards on my opponent's board. It is three energy during their turn. Well, you know, I'm always restating three energy, so it's always good to play. I can always play SS Vegeta during my turn for three energy to bounce two my opponent's cards and have a 20k dual attack. Or it's a counter-counter. So, like, 
if they try to like get cheeky with me trying to negate, and then they go, oh hey, it's yellow counter counter. I'm like, okay, cool. This is a counter counter. I'm gonna play this card now. Bounce those two cards now for me. And then we also play Golden Avenger. It's a counterplay. Fantastic for blue. It's five energy, but most of the time it's not a problem, especially since I'm resetting almost four energy every turn. But it bounces the card coming to play, and it costs seven or less. Uh, then you choose another card going barrier, you play the bottom of their deck. It's a draw one as well. It's a triple strike during your turn. It's just really good, especially in a deck, the deck that just restands the energy. All right, going to this, going to the sideboard. We play a fourth God Ceiling and a fourth Raider Rumble, just in case I feel like I'm going to need those for the, um, that particular matchup. I do play two of Boonies, which is fantastic for a more pressure approach, especially if I'm trying to go for just single damage. Um, on play, it creates three after image tokens, which are all uh, 15k power, zero combo cost of a 5,000 combo power, and it has activate main where it reveals top card of the deck. If it's a battle card, I get to resend another uh, blue energy. During my opponent's main phase, which is fantastic, potentially you're saving five cards. But this gives me, I can just play this card, then I can uh, swing this card. And if the if an after image uh, token is in play, your uh, your battle area, this card can't be KO'd. So as long as it's in rest mode, it's fine. I can just leave the other three tokens in active mode and just use them as combo pieces if I need to. And, you know, just had to. These are my three tokens for the deck. Yep. I feel like an extra hit might be more important then I would definitely have that established. And if my opponent plays key cards with Barrier, I could just switch out one of the hits to something else for two of the uh, four drop Gokus, which is a counter play or a counter attack. And this card's skills can't be negated by uh, in any areas by your opponent's skills. When you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring Barrier, return it to another hand. If it's your opponent's turn, you draw one card. So give you a little extra card there. If your opponent's playing a deck that potentially has really big cards, we got Dirty Burst for that. I did have two Mafupas in my sideboard, but Troopatol, I think I might take one of those out for another card, and that would be for another Gotenks. I only really found found one of my Gotenkses, and I'd rather have two in the sideboard. So, most likely, that one Mafupa will become a Gotenks instead. And then, if you're playing a certain, um, to, uh, sorry, unison based decks, Absolute Confidence is fantastic, because Active Main are battle. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of, uh, so, engine cost of three or less returns to the hand, or you choose one of your opponent's unisons and remove a marker from it. And because you're always restanding energy during your uh, in your turn, when your opponent swings with a say a triple strike, uh, Frieza, Golden Frieza, you just pay two to remove a marker from it, and now it's a single strike. But yeah, that is my SS3 build. Hope you all enjoy it. Um, first time playing it, really did enjoy it. Yeah, let me know what you guys like uh, thought about it. If you got any comments down below, put them there. I tried my best to answer as many as possible. And if you got a particular unique build for SS3, put it in the comments. Let me check it out because uh, I'm, I'm curious now. And with that being said, thank you all. Read your cards, know your place, and fluff out.